the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to easily insert a checkbox in Excel. In case you didn't know, a checkbox is a graphical tool to select or deselect a variable. I'm sure you have come across checkboxes at least once over the internet. These are extensively used to create forms, checklists, and dynamic dashboards. In this guide, I will teach you how to insert a checkbox in Excel the easy way, along with some interesting applications like to-do lists, dynamic charts, and interactive reports. Without further delay, let's quickly jump into the procedure. Now, before dealing with how to add checkboxes in Excel, you need to know how to activate the Excel Developer tab as it contains the option to add checkboxes. It won't be activated in your copy of Excel by default. To activate it, right-click on any of the ribbon tabs and click on the Customize Ribbon button. Now, the Excel Options dialog box will appear. Under it, inside the main tabs pane of the Customize the Ribbon section, click the check mark next to the Developer option, then click OK. This will switch on the Developer tab in Excel. Now, we can use the Developer tab to insert checkboxes in Excel. Now, let us see how to insert a checkbox in Excel follow these steps. Go to the Developer tab and click on the Insert button inside the Controls group. Now, select the Insert button inside the Controls group of the Developer tab. In the Form Controls section of the drop-down menu, click on the checkbox icon. Now, click on the cell where you need to insert the checkbox. This will insert a checkbox somewhere in the vicinity of that cell. Now, drag the checkbox to the exact desired location using the four-pointed arrow. You can access this by hovering over the checkbox with your mouse pointer. Please note that all checkboxes in Excel come with a preset text checkbox 1. To remove it, right-click on the text box and select the text. Now, you can either delete it or change it according to your preferences. Congratulations, you have successfully learned how to insert a checkbox in Excel. In the next sections, we will see how to insert multiple checkboxes and how to link them to other cells. A checkbox in Excel will not work unless it's linked to another cell in the workbook. To link a checkbox to another cell, follow these steps. Right-click on the checkbox and click on the Format Control option. Now, go to the Control tab of the Format Control dialog box and make these two changes. Here, enter the fixed reference of the cell to be linked inside the Cell Link option. Alternatively, you can just click on the cell to be linked to automatically get the cell reference. Then, set the value to Checked to make sure that the checkbox is checked by default. Now, click OK. This will link the checkbox to the specified cell. Now, if the checkbox is checked, the cell will display True. If not, the cell will display False. Now that we know how to insert a checkbox in Excel and link it to another cell, we will look into how to insert multiple checkboxes in Excel. You can do this in two ways. I'll show them one by one. In the first method, you have to insert multiple checkboxes using the Developer tab. This is the most obvious and straightforward method. Just keep repeating the same steps you use for adding a single checkbox as many times as you want. The problem is, it is very time consuming. Also, you have to manually remove the caption name for each of these checkboxes and drag them to their proper location every time. The second method involves copying and pasting the checkboxes or dragging them using the Fill handle. You can simply copy and paste a checkbox to multiple cells as many times as you want. Please note that you can use the normal shortcuts Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to do this. Alternately, drag a checkbox down to other cells using the Fill handle the same way you would drag a formula to other cells. Keep in mind, you have to manually change the link cell reference for each copied checkbox. In the next section, we will see some interesting examples of used cases for checkboxes in Excel. With the help of checkboxes, you can create interactive to-do lists, dynamic charts, dynamic reports, etc. First, let us see how to make an interactive to-do list using checkboxes in Excel. Here is an example of an interactive to-do list in Excel. It keeps track of the percentage of tasks completed and updates their status in a visually intuitive way. To create such an interactive dashboard in Excel, follow these steps. Create a list of tasks for your to-do list and arrange them in a column, preferably column A, i.e. A2, A10. 
In the next adjacent column, column B, i.e. B2, B10, add checkboxes to each of these tasks. Now, manually link each of these checkboxes to a separate group of cells in another column. Any non-adjacent column will do. In this example, F2, F10. Then, in column C, i.e. C2, C10, check the status of completion of each task using the checkbox linked cells. To do this, use the if condition in cell C2 and drag it to the entire range of C2, C10 by using the fill handle. Next, add the status of completion of each task using an if statement. Now, you can go the extra mile and apply conditional formatting to this range, C2, C10, to make it more visually appealing. For example, apply green color to the completed cells and amber color to the incompleted cells. Now, to calculate the number of tasks completed, you can use this COUNTIF formula. Similarly, to calculate the percentage of the tasks completed, use this COUNTIF formula. That's all. We have successfully made an interactive to-do list using checkboxes. Next, we'll see how to create an interactive dynamic chart using checkboxes in Excel. Imagine this for a second. You are presenting the annual and quarterly growth reports for the past three years to your team. You have created a stack bar with a line chart to represent this. But some of your teammates find it difficult to make sense of both years' data at the same time. To solve this problem, you can create an interactive dynamic chart in Excel using checkboxes to selectively display a specific year's data. Here's how to do this. Add two checkboxes corresponding to the two years and link them to separate cells in a different range. Then, using these linked cells as a reference criterion, copy only the data of the selected year using an if statement. Now, use this data to create a chart of your desired type and style. In this example, we have created a combo chart to represent this data. Now, use the checkboxes that toggle the chart data on off. Congratulations, you have successfully created an interactive chart using checkboxes in Excel. Finally, let us see how to make a dynamic report using checkboxes in Excel. Let's say, for example, you have a complex sales report, which summarizes the total sales revenue across regions for different months and quarters. To make it more presentable, you can add controls by using checkboxes to display only the selected region's data. To do this, follow these steps. Add checkboxes to the four regions or any other parameter and link them to another range of cells in the spreadsheet. Now, return the selected region names by using an if condition adjacent to the linked cells. Next, find the region names using the linked cells in the adjacent column like shown here. You can use the dsum formula to find the sum and display the relevant data from the source data based on this criteria. Similarly, use the dAverage function to calculate the average of the data. Congratulations, you have successfully created an interactive report in Excel using checkboxes. That's all, folks. In this guide, I've covered everything you need to know about how to insert a checkbox in Excel. I strongly recommend that you download the practice sheet and test these techniques out for yourself. If you have any questions about this or any other Excel feature, please let us know in the comment section. We are always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.